Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I want to talk to you guys today about a uh, topic that I haven't really seen on any other preparedness channels and what that is is uh, meat saws. Um, I think a meat saw is something that every uh, prepper should have uh, in case they got to process their own meat, whether it's a uh, deer if you go out hunting or uh, if you happen to get a pork shoulder or a larger piece of beef, you're going to need a saw to process that. And uh, Old school meat saws kind of look like this guy right here. They look like a giant hacksaw. Um, this guy right here is probably about 60 years old. I still use this guy from time to time. A new modern one is going to be stainless steel. It'll have a plastic handle on it. Instead of having a wing nut here to put the blade on, it'll have some type of throw lever on there. Um, but a good meat saw is very expensive. Um, and sometimes I don't think that... Uh, justifying that kind of uh, money on something that you're only going to use once in a while is uh, warranted and I've kind of switched and uh, a few years ago I started getting these small inexpensive uh, cross-cut wood saws at uh, Walmart they're about six to seven dollars is what they uh, what they run and uh, these actually work really really well for me you can get several years out of uh, uh, out of one of these and um, what you do is after you get done cutting your meat with one of these, you're going to wash this in a hot soap and water, um, just a mild detergent, and then uh, you're going to let it dry out a little bit, and then you're going to coat this blade with just a real thin layer of uh, whatever kind of cooking oil that you use, and then you'll keep this with your butchering stuff, this, you know, a couple of strong knives, uh, maybe a, a meat cleaver or a hatchet. You can actually do quite a bit of uh, meat processing with just those hand tools. I'm going to show you real quick here how you... Uh, Go about using one of these saws. I got a, just an inexpensive uh, blade pork roast here and the big thing is, is if you're going to use a meat saw you want to cut the muscle down to the bone first uh, on both sides and then uh, continue your cut with the saw. Now if you're going to be cutting a carcass that's hanging up like a deer or a hog you're going to actually be uh, cutting the muscle while it's hanging up and then uh, while it's hanging you'll set the saw into wherever you want to cut and then you're going to cut down. But I'm going to show you real quick here on this. All you do is you take your uh, knife, I just got my uh, utility fixed blade knife here, and you're going to cut. Make a cut through the muscle down to the bone like that right there, and then I'm going to continue that cut down here on the bottom side. Set this off to the side here, then you can take your saw and you're going to lay this down here in the cut. Just like that. And you're going to uh, finish the cut with a knife and uh, as you can see there that cuts the uh, the bone quite nicely and uh, I just found that uh, using these uh, inexpensive saws works better than uh, trying to throw a whole bunch of money at the uh, full-size uh, real expensive uh, professional grade meat saws. So I've kind of devised this and it's been working really well for me. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I uh, appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys are getting a little information and a little entertainment out of my videos. Uh, this is Modern Refugee. You guys have a great day.